Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Object-Oriented Programming Methods in Ruby. In this tutorial, we will learn to use Instance Methods, Class Methods, Accessor Methods. Here we are using Ubuntu version 12.04, Ruby 1.9.3. To follow this tutorial, you must have a working internet connection. You must also have knowledge of Linux commands, terminal and text editor, if not for relevant tutorials, please visit our website. Before we begin, recall that we had created a TTT directory earlier. Let's go to that directory. Then to Ruby-Tutorial, create a directory named OOP-Methods and cd into it. What are instance methods? Instance methods are those methods that are available to all instances of the class. Earlier we had studied how to create objects or instances of a class. Create a new file in gedit as shown in the basic level Ruby tutorials. Name it instance underscore methods.rb. I have a working example of implementing instance methods. You can pause the tutorial and type the code as we go through it. I have defined a class named product in this example. I have called an initialize method to initialize the instance variables name and price. I have also defined instance methods named name and price. Each of them return instance variables name and price respectively. Instance methods are defined just like normal methods. Earlier we had studied how to create methods in Ruby. Shortly we will see how these methods will be available to all instances. Now let us implement the logic we have. Here I have initialized a product object and named it product underscore object underscore one. I have initialized it with a name value and a price value. The initializer block passes the values to the instance variables name and price. Now this product instance or object can use the instance methods name and price. On invoking these methods, we get the values stored in the instance variables. Now let us execute this code. Switch to the terminal and type ruby space instance underscore methods dot rb and press enter to see the output. You will see that it will print the values you initialize the object with, namely laptop and 35,000. Next, initialize another instance or object. Let us name this object product underscore object underscore two. This time, let us give a different set of values for name and price. Now let us call the instance methods name and price for this object. Next, let us switch back to the terminal and execute the code like before. You will notice that it executes successfully and prints out the new values. This proves that instance methods are available to all objects of the class product. You should now be able to write your own instance methods. Next, let us look at what class methods are. Class methods are methods available only to the class. These methods are not available to instances of the class. There are different ways you can define class methods. Let us look at an example. Create a new file in gedit as shown in the basic level Ruby tutorials and name it class underscore methods dot rb. I have a working example of class methods. You can pause the tutorial and type the code as we go through it. I have defined a product class like before. I have also called an initializer like before. However, this time I have added an extra argument called description. I'm also using class variables to hold the values unlike instance variables earlier. This class will demonstrate to you the three different ways one can define class methods. 
Check out the class method declaration for name. Here it is defined using the class name product. Then check out the second class method declaration. Here I have used the self keyword. Next, check out the third way you can define class methods. Now let us implement these class methods. Let us first initialize an object of product like before. This time we are also giving a value for the description. Now let us invoke the class methods as shown here. Now let us execute the code and inspect the output. Switch to the terminal and execute the code like before. You will notice that it will print the values for name, price and description. Now you should be able to write your own class methods. Next, we shall see what accessor methods are. Ruby uses accessor methods to access data defined within classes. Accessor methods comprise of setter methods and getter methods. Setter methods set the values, while getter methods get those values. Ruby uses the word attr underscore accessor to declare these methods. Let us look at an example of accessor methods. Create a new file in gedit as shown in the basic level Ruby tutorials and name it accessor underscore methods dot rb. I have a working example of implementing accessor methods. You can pause the tutorial and type the code as we go through it. I have defined a class named product in this example. I have declared attr underscore accessor for name and price. This is all that is required to use these types of methods. Now let us put it to action. I have initialized a product object. Then I have set the name and price of the product object. This is possible because the attr underscore declaration by default creates methods for setting values. I have then attempted to print the values using the getter methods for name and price. These getter methods were also generated by the declaration of attr underscore accessor. Now let us execute the code like before. You will notice that it prints the values that were set. By now, you should be able to write your own accessor methods. One thing to note is that accessor methods are by default instance methods. Thus, they can be accessed by different instances of the class product. In this tutorial, we have learned about instance methods, class methods and accessor methods. As an assignment, define a class named temperature. Write an instance method using Ruby's accessor method syntax. This method should calculate the Celsius for the given Fahrenheit. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test, for more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. The Spoken Tutorial Project is part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash NMEICT hyphen intro. This is Anjana Nair signing off. Thank you.